In software engineering, SOLID is an acronym for five design principles intended to make object-oriented design more understandable, flexible, and maintainable. The SOLID ideas are single responsibility, open close, least cough substitution, interface segregation, and dependency inversion. In this tutorial, I will introduce dependency inversion principle. Dependency inversion principle defines that we should not depend on low-level implementation, but rather rely on high-level abstractions. This principle is based on open close principle and least cough substitution principle. If you're not familiar with these two principles, check out to our previous solid tutorials before you continue on this principle tutorial. This is because if you consequently apply the open close principle and the least cough substitution principle to your code, it will also follow the dependency inversion principle. So here is a code example. We have three payment classes which are payment via credit card class, payment via debit card card class and payment via online banking class. Each of these classes have its own payment method implementation. We also have a checkout class that execute a checkout method. Currently, this checkout method accepts payment via credit card object as parameter. Below here, we created a checkout class object that execute checkout method with payment via credit card. However, this code example only accepts a single payment method as we're not able to switch between different payment class. The other way is that we can accept a dynamic type of parameter and check each class type using if statement and execute respective payment method. However, this will violate open close principle. So in order to adhere dependency inversion principle, I will be creating an abstract class called payment with a payment method and each of the payment class will implement this abstract class and overrides its payment method. Then in the checkout method, we can now pass in the abstract payment class as we can now pass in the abstract payment class type as parameter. With these changes, we can now easily switch between different payment methods easily from the client side without depending on the concrete implementation. With these changes, our code now adhere to dependency inversion principle. The changes will make our code more understandable, flexible, and maintainable. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Here comes to the end of the tutorial. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.